up, up everyone welcome back to another video and today of course we have eula front and center because i've been getting a lot of people asking me walrus where is eula why is she not back yet does hoyoverse hate eula and does eula still exist in the game is hoyoverse ever going to rerun her now it seems like that people pose these questions to me uh, thinking that i work for hoyoverse or i have control over who reruns uh, next but honestly i swear to you guys i do not and i really don't know uh what the situation with eula all i can do is present you guys what i think like from my perspective after playing the game for so long after kind of trying really hard to figure out what hoyoverse really thinks and maybe get you guys to think from hoyoverse's perspective because really the only real answer is that hoyoverse headquarters probably once a month meetings that they have they sit around huddle together and decide what characters they want to rerun and every time eula comes up they maybe just kind of all scratch their heads and be like yeah what are we gonna do with this character Right? So, name's Walrus if this is your first time here, which I highly doubt it. Drop a like, subscribe, and let's get right into the video because currently, I think Eula is a very confused and lost character. Now, from Hoyoverse's perspective, I don't know what they have in the works to kind of lift her up or lift up physical carries from the ground, right? I think uh, they're very much in the same position as maybe crystallize in that you know they exist in the game kind of in this realm of irrelevancy not to say nobody plays them i mean i'm sure there's somebody out there having a blast through crystallize running archaic petra to boost up the elemental teams and they they think that's the best way they enjoy the game and all the power to them and you if you want to play it like that same with people who are still maining razor right same with people who will never let go of eula these are characters that you have poured your heart and souls into and respect to you guys for playing them however what we are talking about today is the grand picture why from a statistical point of view less and less people are playing physical carries less and less people are pulling for eula's rerun banners and less and less people are invested into her weapons her constellations and her appearance not just in spiral abyss because i know a lot of you guys are like, oh walrus well, stop talking about the abyss nobody cares well a lot of people care but okay but even in the overworld a character like eula doesn't get played as much anymore i've talked to a lot of people they've since dropped eula i've stayed intact with a lot of believe it or not eula mains over the years since her first release i remember i helped people summon for her all the way until now pretty much like nobody talks about her plays her at all what happened this video is sponsored by u7 buy use the link in the description below to come and get a slight discount off of your primo gem purchases as well as the welcome moon thank you for always supporting the channel content and now let's get back to the video i think one of the major reasons people don't talk about is the fact that she's just an old character right sure she's not as strong as she used to be when she first came out because the abyss has evolved a lot but at the same time we also have to be very aware of the fact that if you play a character day in day out for two years you're gonna get a little bored right you're, you're not gonna be very excited to play them anymore and uh, you just want to go try out new things a breath of fresh air and i think people don't talk about this nearly enough so with that point let's move on to Hoyover's perspective. Why then does Hoyover's not want to rerun? Or why does Hoyover's not want to buff a character or provide incentives to pull for a character? Because if they wanted to, it's very easy for them to incorporate Eula into reruns much sooner and along with development plans to kind of empower her to be more useful, right? If power was such a big problem to people. However, I've mentioned many times in the past that the problem with Eula is actually inherently with her kit now am i saying that she needs a buff kind of all right the biggest problem with eula is after many years people playing her the honeymoon phase has long passed now crit fishing with her burst skill is just not a fun way to play the game with a lot of people running through abyss as more so of a chore as opposed to a engaging piece of content let's just be honest here right most of you guys watching play abyss for the rewards that they give not really to have fun because if you're playing the abyss to have fun you would play it over and over again even if you 36 that you'll still go back like oh my god this is so fun but that's not the case so when you're trying to go through the abyss you want to do it as fast and efficiently as possible you want to invest in the characters that are proven patch over patch to be very good characters 
Eula is not one of those characters. She has been very difficult to stay consistently competitive at a high level. Sometimes she can be really good, other times she'll be extremely bad. And since like a year ago, she has been very, very, very bad. Very few top meta players would even recommend her. And uh, since she's also a five star character and not a four star character, uh, obviously, then when her rerun comes around, with the exceptions to extreme fans of her playstyles or her as a character who are pulling for constellations. Uh, and weapons very little new players are pulling for her right so then we kind of get to the center of the issue here which is that a lot of old players from Genshin have since quit and I'm sure if you guys have friends or had friends who played this game uh, they've likely moved on to other titles and it's difficult to avoid that some of them were people who wanted to invest into Eula indefinitely meaning like get her to C6R5 over like eight years or something like that but now they've quit the game and newer players coming in most of the time are just looking for what's good right now what should i invest to how should i progress through the game they're in the honeymoon phase they want to get through the game fast and combined with the release of dendro which i think is really the big big problem for a character like eula dendro's involvement into the game has been monumental for free to plays and low spenders and especially new players anyone who's coming into the game nowadays should never be looking to invest into older characters prior to dendro if you're thinking of progressing to the game at a very good pace right you're not needing to wail you're not needing to over invest your time and energy just play dendro dendro is going to cruise you through the game it gets you up to pace very quickly you will be very competitive in the spiral abyss in the sense that with yourself right not with other people but a character such as nilu which enables super bloom although she's not dendro but she's a part of the dendro meta is invaluable to a free to play and new player so then we look at a character like eula what does she really introduce to a free to play or low spender who's a newer player's account right if you don't like her like and i mean a lot if you don't like her a lot because the risks of pulling a eula is very gravely meaning that if you pull her and you get bored of her in two patches she's not gonna even be that good of a character to hard carry your teams through content right that means you're gonna get less and less gems per cycle of the abyss that means you're gonna have invested a, into a level 90 character potentially with her five star weapon or another great sword weapon that uh, honestly it's very difficult to transfer great sword weapons to other characters there's just not that many great sword characters that are at the top of the meta space if you have a sword that's pretty easy to transfer if you have a bow that's very easy to transfer right but great sword it's just a combination of problems and setbacks potentially for people to invest into eula the only 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 reason you should be investing into eula is if you actually like the character her design her playstyle, and you can foresee yourself playing her for potentially half a year up to a year non-stop and you won't get bored of it but let me just tell you something eula is one of the characters that people have regretted pulling and investing into the most because of how hard she's fallen behind the curve of i guess the meta and how it has changed and shifted leaving her in a position where you really need a lot of help to get her working now this leads me to the release of mika because a lot of people had copium thinking mika is going to work extremely well with eula it's going to make eula a much better character and especially if you invested the mika over time getting him to a higher constellation then eventually he's going to synergize perfectly with eula but that's just not the case it just seems like mika was released to empower a whole different set of characters maybe like even characters that aren't even out yet so it's very very awkward right now for eula we don't know when hoyoverse is going to rebuild physical damage carries or the physical damage meta space or if they ever will that's the scary thing right like if they release eula right now and there's no change in sight for physical damage dealers people just don't feel safe investing into her with fontaine coming up so soon right like even if you love eula to death it's very difficult for somebody to just say i'm gonna forego my savings for fontaine and the hydro archon and i'm gonna go all in on eula right so think about this from hoya versus perspective this signals to me that the fact eula rerun isn't coming means that they have no near plans to redesign physical damage carries or provide some sort of support system for them 
And when they are ready to do that, or when they feel comfortable they're going to do that, they may be introducing Eula. Now, there's also something Horrorverse likes to do is they will rerun a character before they introduce a super good change to that character's meta space. Right. So meaning that they could rerun Eula with no news of physical DPS changes in sight. And then two patches down the line, they suddenly release a character that is super good with Eula and makes her competitive again and make you feel the regret of not investing into Eula. Obviously, that's a very far fetched and copious way to go about this, but I wouldn't be surprised if they reran Eula, let's say in 3.8 or as a rerun banner in 4.0. Right. And that's all just saying that Holyoke is trying to figure out what's the best way to take this character who is so out of touch with the current meta space and make money from her right now if they just dropped her in 3.7 they're not going to make money with her. Well, they will. They probably will still make like a couple million with her, which is saying a lot about Genshin Impact. Like, even a character such as Eula, very few people really want to invest in her. They'll still probably pull a couple millions from her banner. Amazing for Hoyoverse and how profitable their game is. But really for players, people don't care. All right? I know there's going to be three or four of you in the comment section. Like, but Walrus, I care. Understand that, yes, you do matter. But to Hoyoverse, unfortunately, you're just like a number and you're a very low number in terms of what they should be servicing into the game. That doesn't mean that Eula is never coming or she's never getting buffed. I'm just saying that it's probably in the works. It's just not a priority for Hoyoverse right now. Okay, hope this video made sense. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, we're going to stay safe. Peace, peace. Bye bye.